this is an ECG printout. Um, the date on the top there is the 7th of the 6th, June 2023 at 9.10 um, a.m. And um, I had this done the day I got sectioned. I went to the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses on the 6th of June. I think it's about 7.40 p.m. Knocked on the door very lightly, about three times. I thought, right, I'll wait till they come out, the, the elders and the, the brothers and sisters. But uh, the elders just called the police, basically. So I heard a siren coming. I thought, hey, up. So the police come um, come to me, question me. And then they ring up the Peter Hodgkinson Centre and uh, basically take me to hospital. So um i got sectioned and i'm always getting sectioned for no reason right the 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 mental health doctors dr bradshaw adiz bradshaw she she sectioned me a few times under the mental health act 1983 and it's for no reason i took a uh, i took my bible code in once my king james bible code my laptop to show her so I gave her two videos about the Bible code. She handed them me back. And then I showed her on the table uh, my how the Bible code works. And by the end of the meeting, nothing else was said. She says, I think I'll have to section you, Mr. Hache. So I get sent to Peter Hodgkinson Centre. And then I get sent 80 miles away to near Bradford, seven miles from Huddersfield, where my mum was born. And I spent three months in hospital on strong antipsychotics, uh, injections in the bum and everything. They are uh, the uh, mental health is a is a pseudoscience. They have no clue what they're doing. Always pushing the medication. You won't change my mind who I am. I told them this in six, 18 years. So this is an ECG I had on the day I got sectioned in the Conley ward. Yeah, look, it says there, Conley Ward, look, LPFT Mental Health Unit, uh, PBC Conley Ward. And um, it says I'm about 50. But in the middle up there, it says abnormal. Abnormal ECG. I'll show you in a minute. Well, Dean is the one in the clinic that did the... Um, did the ECG printout. I says, can I have a printout? He says, yeah. So I said, is it normal? So he looks at it for about three seconds, five seconds. And he says, yeah. And just handed it me. Well, what was he looking at? Because look at the bottom. Can you see that? That graph. Normal rhythm of the heart. And then suddenly... There, it starts going weird, look. Look at that. What is going on? Does Is this evidence that I'm Jehovah, that I've got two hearts? You know Doctor Who? Well, I've always thought I am the Time Lord, Doctor Who, the um, the TV series. I, I, I think that's who I am. I'm a Time Lord, and Doctor Who had two hearts, and I reckon I've got two, some kind of physical two hearts or... I don't know what's going on with my heart, but look at that evidence. Uh, I told my uh, son Joshua showed in the picture of this, and he says, "Oh, they they can uh, they can go malfunction, but that's not the point." Because I asked Dean, I says, "Is it normal?" He would have seen that that wasn't normal. Why did he say it was normal? Because Jehovah probably put it into his mind not to see it. He was probably looking at totally different thing in a parallel universe. But that's not normal, is it? Well, that, I don't know what's the... I mean, I'm not an expert on the heart or rhythms or anything, so I don't know what was going on with that. That's one for the scientists. But Watchtower, I think that proves that uh, some kind of... some kind of extraterrestrial. I'm not normal in any way, physically or mentally. And I think it says up there, it says abnormal there. What does it say there? Oh, yeah. It says, uh, 
abnormal R wave progression late transmission. So whoever, if anybody wants to comment on this and do some research or you're a doctor, please tell me what that means. What does abnormal R, R wave progression late transition mean? I ain't got a clue. But we'll have a look. Look, these ones, these ones are fine. Look, rhythm's fine. I don't know what this bottom one's measuring. What is it? Why the hell has it gone weird? <coughs> it never went back to normal, by the looks of it. As I said, I asked Dean, the ward manager, and I said, is there anything wrong with it? Uh, my heart, is it normal? He says, he looked at it about five seconds. He said, yep, yeah, it's fine. Fine? That's not fine, is it? And the thing is, I put this um, printout, my ECG, in my um, computer bag, which is by my bed just there. And I went to look at it a few months ago, and it's disappeared. It's gone. I can't find it anywhere in my house. It's a bit like when I um, I had a Revelation book, um, one of my copies of the Revelation book. You know, it's Grand Climax, the red one. Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, we, we studied it five times, which is boring. It's full of nonsense. But anyway, I came out of hospital once and nobody had been in the house. And my, my revelation book had disappeared. It's it totally gone. I couldn't find it again. I had to get another one off eBay. So I'm not telling lies. I don't tell lies anyway. Why should I? I'm not capable of telling lies. I hate people that take, tell lies and untruths and false stories i don't tell false stories i say it as it is the truth like the two moons in the sky the other day three days ago on the 22nd of october 2024 two physical light sources the same enveloped by a supernatural light i'm not lying because I've got it on video with a supernatural star and supernatural noises over the Birchwood Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses, Lincoln, UK. So I'm not going to be lying about that because it's visible on camera, on a recording. So why would I lie about two moons over my house? Not am I. Anyway, make what you think of this. Any comments, I'd welcome them. See you later.